Hello, welcome to the gun shop. Today we're gonna to have a quick look over this. The Tika T3X Lite. This one is left-handed. All right, so we've already done very various other videos on Tikas that are your warm welcome to watch. I'm not gonna to go too in depth. All the benefits are fairly obvious. It's very accurate, it's not a great deal of money, it's easily customizable. What more could you possibly want? Uh, so, you know, to that effect, everything that I say that isn't gonna be in this negatives section is good. There is very little bad about it. For a cheap stock, they are immensely hard. Probably one of the best factory stocks out there for a polymer-based stock. And I just don't say that lightly, actually, because, you know, we do play with a lot. It's probably this, between this and the Heinel Jaeger 10 in terms of what entry level, no, mid-level qualities, they're not an entry level rifle, not anymore anyway. Certainly what I do to a rifle like this, what we're actually going to do to this one, is fit one of these. Although the Optolock rail system is absolutely fantastic, you are bound to Optolock mounts. A ticker phosphate rail costs are, what, about £70, they're not overly expensive. They're black, they screw straight on, they come with all the screws you could ever want. So they're bought on just that easy. It's a little packet of screws comes with them and then you end up with a, a Picatinny rail. Picatinny is obviously a lot easier to use than the Optolocks and you can fit them with anywhere from a 40 pound Nico Sterling to something real decent like some Max. My only other little problem with this gun is the magazine release. I wouldn't mind it if it was just a little bit bigger. Although once you do push it, the magazine comes out in a very lively fashion. And on the magazine, when it's going in, although it's a polymer magazine now, it's absolutely fantastic on the way in. It just takes quite a positive click to go in there. So it's almost, it, well, it is sprung on the way in. What I prefer personally is just more of one of a positive click style magazine. You hook it in and you lap it in, a bit like the Accuracy International mags. But you can get those to fit this for what, 250 quid, and suddenly you've got a 10, 15, 20 round magazine if you need, depending on the colour. Uh, the left handed action is a true left handed action. Everything about this gun is designed as left hand. The, the, I mean, the trigger is an ambidextrous, but they change all the parts over to the left hand. Your bolt release is on the left hand, which is really nice, and so on and so forth. Uh, the two lug, two lug bolt, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe it would have been nice to see these guys upgrading to a three, just to set themselves apart from a lot of the entry level rifles now, as most of these other guys are doing. However, you'll not find a problem with these inaccuracy. They're guaranteed sub MOA, and they're actually some of the best barrels out there in terms of barrel life for the money. And accuracy, actually. Not that you'll find an inaccurate rifle there anymore. Uh, the triggers come set, I believe, at a factory three, three and a half pounds, and with a little bit of fettling, you can make these triggers absolutely superb. However, in all honesty, the factory trigger out the box is brilliant. I think the grip that they come with out the box is fairly satisfactory as well. However, maybe something a bit fuller for smaller hands would be ideal, or certainly if you're doing a bit more varmint shooting. So what more is there to say? Very little. It's a Tika. They're brilliant. The actual finish quality is awesome. Uh, the true left-handed action, there is very, no corners cut, and that's the real reason we were showing you this, is just to show anybody who's in, inquiring about a left-hander to have as much confidence in these as probably one of the best left-handed actions out there at the, at the money. That's all for now. Cheers, guys. Hi guys, we're not actually all finished uh, because we're going to show you what it's like now it's set up for the customer. This customer is a casual stalker, probably does more than, than most, but we've set it up for him accordingly. Uh, he brought in his Swarovski because there's no point in upgrading that, it's probably one of the best things out there, a Z6i. And we put it on Mac mounts, they're swing offs, so they just pop off like this, probably the best mounts available. Back to zero guarantee and all that. We've put it on a uh, Tika phosphated rail as we showed you and we've put the Stalin 145 moderator on there probably one of the best mods out there however it is huge as you can see it is a, a massive moderator not that's an inherently bad thing it is just a big can and underneath we put a 3HDR on there again one of the best slings out there just mostly because you can pop it across your back and uh, not worry about it falling off whilst you're doing the drag awesome setup and I hope you really enjoyed it